What's in the box, YouTube? It's that time again. But first, I'd like to cover um, SwampCon, which was last week, and we had a lot of fun going to it. Um, I was Sans, like I said I was planning to be. Um, I'll put a picture in in this video, I guess. And Becca was the TARDIS. So it was pretty exciting. Um, we actually met people that wanted our uh, one pictures with us, apparently. So, you know, there was that, and I thought that was pretty cool. And, I don't know, it was a bit of a surreal experience. Um, anyways, well, let's get on to what you guys are actually here to see. So check this out. I don't know what the theme is for this, but I'm going to infer just from seeing what I see here. It's got something to do with Deadpool. Mainly because there's a Deadpool shirt right here. Uh, let's go on ahead and open it up. We can. Oh, that's really backwards. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> okay, they got me. They got me. It's upside down. Yep. So, um, is Deadpool? Uh, he's yelling tacos. I figured he would say chibichangas, but. You know, whatever. I'll definitely wear that. Thank you. By the way, Deadpool, great movie. If you really like, eh. If you really like origin stories, it's really good. Um, it drags on a bit at some points, but I guess without all the fluff, it would probably be a point A to point B movie. It's really funny though. <laughs> I mean, it's it's what you'd expect a Deadpool movie to be. Anyways, we also have uh, the Walking Dead. Um. Whatever this is, I guess it's a minifigure. It looks like it is. And uh, it looks like Rick kind of has some serious issues with his head right there. And the zombie is the most normal looking thing on this package. Well, let's see whatever we got in here. We can... Uh, you know what? I might have to get to my old pal the scissors for this. Curses. We'll get back to you. Anyways. We have another Deadpool thing. A figure can't see it because my camera sucks. So we're going to open the box and see what's in the box. <laughs> uh, what is with all the tape today? Come on, guys. That worked out perfectly. Well, okay, here's Deadpool in uh, action here. Oh, this sword's a little bent on that side. That's, that's kind of a downer. Um, I mean, it's a nice little vinyl figure. Uh, he's kind of wibbly wobbly. He's barely attached right here at the back. But it looks like he's coming right off an explosion. He's like, or he just got out of uh, Moe's or something. I don't know. It looks good. That's gonna go on my shelf. Not as finely crafted as some of the other figures they've given, but it is something nice for the, the uh, typical Funko Pops. So there's that. Um, got our badge. I don't know why I'm showing that to the microphone. Oh, the theme is dead. I was close. Sort of. Anyways. Uh, I like what they're doing with the uh, pens. Oh, here we go. Soap on a rope Daryl's Walker ear necklace. I think they just ran out of things to give us at this point because they're just giving us Walking Dead and Deadpool. Two things which have become relevant in this uh, time, I guess. And of course, we've got their magazine. Well, I mean, it's not the worst crate, but it is the most bland of them all, I've got to say. I mean, they're really just capitalizing on Deadpool and, uh, you know, The Walking Dead, like I said. Uh, oh yeah, I'll show you guys what the box looks like, because why not? I'm not going to take the time to set this crap up, so deal with it. Now, if you'll excuse me for just a moment, we're going to get some scissors so we can take a look at this minifigure that we have. Now, I tossed you somewhere right over here. I hate this material. I really do. There we go. Let's see what we got. Oh god, it's one of these sort of things, isn't it? 
I actually have to put it to fucking together. Well, let's see, is there anything else in the bag? Oh, good, there's a coupon and I cut it in half. <laughs> oh, that's not good. How will I ever get these amazing savings? Oh, well, whatever. Anyways, jump cut. And we're back. Here's our hideous little deformed fetus. As you can tell, he's very anorexic and he's definitely a zombie from The Walking Dead. Though he looks a lot more like one of the, um, what do they call him? I don't know, he looks like he came out of the House of the Dead, like those guys that come out of the water. Um, that's the only thing I can really think of. I, I don't have any particular feelings towards this because I stopped watching The Walking Dead after, like, season three. And it's, I don't know, it's just not that great to me. So, um, this thing's a little cheaply made? The, like... Like, the model itself just feels like I'm going to shatter it by pure thought alone after putting it together. Um, it does not feel like it's going to stay together. His foot doesn't even touch the ground, he's just doing the stanky leg. Look at him, he's doing the stanky leg. See? Stanky leg. It's just, I don't know, like, this isn't really that good. I'm sorry, Luke Crate. Now, for throwing in all the Deadpool stuff, I've got to say... Good on you, good marketing, um, and it actually is good quality stuff. Like, we got this nice figure of Deadpool getting out of an explosion. Woo! Cool. And then we've got the shirt. And I mean, okay, I'll admit, The Walking Dead had some pretty cool stuff, too. You know, we've got the soap on the rope, which is, I guess, kind of interesting. Like... I won't say it's great, but, you know, I, I gotta give them credit where credit's due, so there is that. This fucking minifigure here. <laughs> fucking guy out of a McDonald's toy pin is just bullshit. Oh, well, this month you did alright. I'll be eagerly awaiting next month, and you better outdo yourself on this. Toodles!